So we have seen that capacitor also opposes instantaneous changes of voltage, whereas the inductor opposes instantaneous changes in current. Okay, so that is VC at T equal to zero minus is equal to VC at T equal to zero plus, and VC at T equal to zero minus it is equal to zero. Therefore, VC at T equal to zero plus also it is equal to zero. That means the inductor is uh, sorry the capacitor is acting as a short circuit, right? Whereas the inductor is acting as an open circuit initially. Okay, so for initial condition, as switch is pressed, then uh, uh, that means the voltage source is suddenly applied across that particular component. Then uh, inductor will act as if it is an open circuit, and capacitor will act as if it is a short circuit. Okay. Then see the second condition that is after infinite amount of time when the switch was placed at this particular position for say infinite amount of time, then the rate of change of voltage applied across this capacitor. So voltage is continuously applied across capacitor V. So that means there is no change in voltage. So dV by dt is equal to zero. So as dV by dt is equal to zero, I is zero. That means the current flowing through this capacitor it is zero so ic is becoming zero that means this capacitor is acting as if it is a open circuit and exactly in the opposite manner as that of inductor so when this switch was closed for a long time and if this is the inductor then the current flowing through this inductor is i and the rate of change of inductor current Flowing through this particular inductor, it was zero. That's why the voltage applied across it was zero, and that's why that's why it was operating as if it is a short circuit. Okay, and this um, capacitor will act as if it is a open circuit, right? Now let us see case two. I hope it is clear to you. Now case two. Case two is when this particular voltage source is applied for this uh, applied to this capacitor for infinite amount of time, and at time t equal to zero, we are switch we are switching uh, from this to this position one to two position. That means we are removing the voltage source which was connected for a long time. So as the voltage source was connected across this capacitor continuously for it. Long time, and at time t equal to zero, we are removing this voltage source, uh, which was connected across this capacitor. Okay, so now, as we know that capacitor opposes the instantaneous changes in voltage, so the voltage at VC, uh, voltage VC at time t equal to zero plus is equal to also V zero. If the voltage at time t equal to zero minus across this capacitor was V zero, means since this uh, is connected for a long time before t equal to zero, that means the voltage across this capacitor applied is V. So the let us say charge on this capacitor is V zero. So if V zero is voltage stored across this capacitor, that is at time t equal to zero minus. We are switching it, so the same voltage at time t equal to zero plus also will be continued. So this will act as if it is a voltage source. So when sudden switching takes place, when this voltage source was initially connected for a long time, and in, uh, uh, at time t equal to zero, we are suddenly removing that source. Then also, its effect will remain on this capacitor. That means the voltage stored on this capacitor will remain as if it is V zero, which was initially prior to switching this uh, switch at position two. So 
the voltage uh, this capacitor will act as if it is a voltage source now let us see the another opposite condition that is at position 2 the capacitor uh, the switch is for a infinite amount of time so after infinite amount of time let us say what is the position the um, current flowing through this capacitor will become equal to zero because this uh, rate of change of voltage is zero that means ic is zero ic is zero means it will act as if it is a open circuit right so for a time uh, if time t is infinite the capacitor current current flowing through capacitor it is c into dv by dt so as voltage there is no change in voltage dv by dt is zero so ic is equal to zero so at time t equal to infinite capacitor will act as if it is a open circuit so these two cases we have seen for capacitor if initially the voltage was not applied and at time t equal to 0 we have suddenly applied the voltage across this capacitor then it will act as if it is a short circuit and if it is kept for a long time then after infinite time it will act as if it is a open circuit and in case 2 when the voltage source was continuously connected to this uh, capacitor for a long time and at time t equal to 0 we have removed that then also the uh, initially it will oppose this change and it will act as if it is a voltage source and after a long time that is final value will be again it is it will act as open circuit so final value of capacitor is also same it will act as open circuit final value of inductor is also same it will act as if it is a short circuit and the initial values initial value for capacitor in first case it will act as short circuit whereas inductor will act as if it is open circuit and in second case capacitor will act as if it is a voltage source and inductor will act as if it is a current source so that's all for all these components basic components so in uh, we have finished with how the uh, individual components resistance capacitance and inductor behaves for transition if there is a transition transition means we have suddenly applied the voltage or suddenly removed the voltage that means the source we have suddenly applied or we have suddenly removed then how these components particularly act to these conditions that we have seen now in next class we'll start with the transient analysis first order rc and rl circuit and in both these there will be either a source free response or a forced response source free response means whenever the supply or source is not at all connected and forced response means whenever the supply or source is connected to this particular circuit so that's all for today we'll stop it here for today i'll stop recording first and then uh,